Bless up BXG Nation, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is doing good and staying safe from COVID-19. Now Futai gave his views on coronavirus, the NBA and the NFL. So let's roll the intro and get right in the discussion. <laughs> On the stop worrying yourself. God know where my do. If you're stuck somewhere, stay which part you're stuck. Zin at first boss, nineties boss, big up yourself. If you're stuck somewhere, stop grumble, stop quarrel, stop oh, oh, me stuck yourself. Relax. God know where God I do. Stop worrying yourself. Glad say you're alive. Glad say you're not dead. Glad say Corona not kill you. Anywhere they know, that's where you were supposed to be. Stop stressing yourself. DJ Magwan. Stop quarrel. Stop cuss God. Cause some only think gonna have to say, God, you are pussy. If you say you are cuss God. Once God creates a situation and you are alright and you are complaining about the situation, you are cuss God. Cause you are, you are denounce God works. God know where I do. I don't want to say him because we can determine that God is a him and not a she. Are not a combination of him and she. So many even want to say him. Because Christianity tell you if you talk about God or him, 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 him. And we don't know if God or he or she are a combination of both. So many don't want to say that. But you have to remember, say, the Almighty know what the Almighty are do. You understand me, I say? So if you're stuck in our country where you don't know nobody, where you don't have no money, I guess God wants you to be stuck. So this is now you go. Learn how to help yourself. Learn how to make connection with people and advance yourself for things we are forward in the future. A train got a training for what is to come. So stop complaining. Me hear some people are cause corona and corona and do them nothing. This situation was made to train us for the future. Nothing and a mistake, Regine. Nothing and a mistake. The Almighty don't make mistake. To all man set the thing we are quarrel about yo what is what is really no relax absorb the situation learn to make the situation help you look for the lessons from the situation stop cost the situation kind of you cause the situation and you call along the situation for yourself you understand what i say so you were placed in a situation to see how well you can handle the situation Remember the Almighty know how him design here you now. Him, I don't want to say him. I'm going to try to get myself out of that motion there you now. The Almighty know how you were created. Every situation where you're going you now, the Almighty know you're getting it already. And him equip you to angle the situation. And you have to go in your brain and figure out what works best for you in the situation. You understand what I say? Yes, yeah, so we want. We want to learn from the pandemic here, or the pandemic here, whatever it near. How to survive. How to get over the earlier. That is what the lesson is. How can you stay right with God and not sell your soul and still man over the tribulation here? You understand what I mean? I say stop quarrel. Stop curse. Somehow, no, when you're in an essential work, say, oh, I can't bother with this. Every day, me have to come and work and how much people there, they have to rest. You are more fortunate because you can pay all of your bills. You get a little overtime and extra money in your hand. So although you put in extra hours, God makes sure so you have money in your clothes. So I bless you, bless you, end up have work where you can go and work. Where you complain about people where they are them yard for. People where they are them yard have the bills that come see them where you have no money. So where you cost for. Me see some nurse girl about, oh, I can't wait for this pandemic to done. That I can get off these hours. So you're not glad for the extra money. You're not glad for the extra money. You're bad to God and say, God, more and turn up my thing. More and some extra money. You can't determine, oh, God, I'm going to make you make the extra money, you know. You can't tell, oh, God, I'm going to make you make the food, you know. So God send Corona now and the pandemic cause the problem. So you get extra hours and extra work. Are the extra money that way you ask God for? God can't please you know. Can you ask the extra money? God created a pandemic. 
get rid of some people when they get rid of in that same instance you get extra work so you are making the extra money and you still are complaining and you remember say three four months ago you asked god for extra money because you have extra things where you want to do and now god bless you with pandemic so you can make extra money are you still a quarrel people i'm sorry but i can't add nobody to my life i mean i know the body man them get bright then remember you know you have to give god thanks you know you know how much people out of work you know how much people not work and you watch them through them there then you have to drink wine and a dance when foot of them play for life them stress so them glad when foot are play that's them can enjoy themselves because they not work they not the money they have to make the best of the worst situation you fortunate for their work and i get pay and i get over time your rent now back up on you you're not you're, you're not run out of food you have money when the pandemic had done your bank book i got fatter than how it used to be and you complain and you complain really we have to start think different if we do not start think different we're not going to end up this guy and no any other door start think different you are going to disrespect god and don't know good as i'll be big up remember your, your prayer and you ask for certain things right well i'm black a person can you know me around for black people right yeah zin so you ask god for help you the universe does not shift the way or you want it but the universe shift to get the result where you want so you can't say lord god what kind of pandemic this the universe will help you know you pray for help so the universe i make one stone kill five birds the, the the universe i take with you some wicked people where it are and it will bless you with work so you have more money where you want where you ask for you know none of your family them not dead from corona you know none of your family them not sick and can't walk and cripple up from corona no no deal all corona do for you and make you and make more money and you cost corona this is some people oppose you make your way for dirty corona go on with a corona affect you corona stop you from make money i make you make more money which one your kids them hurt god not touch none of your pit in them god not touch none of your family god not kill none of your family them and you cost corona you don't need to cost corona brother sister you don't need to cost corona you have to wake up and have to look. God work in a different ways. God not have to work the way how you expect him to work. And the result you have to worry about. Re worry about the result where you pray for. Where you ask for. I eat God gear. No matter how it comes. As long as know you are doing a wickedness to make it forward. And God make it forward. Where you are quarrel for. You know how much nursing that cost for raise up here? Junior X, you know how much people did acquire for raise up here? You know how much essential worker did I say them now get the respect for them forget? Moby Empire, mad enough. You know how much people did a ball say them want some extra hours? Me have a bridge you know, used to ball say Johnny Star. Them they even want to give me the look of overtime. You understand? They never want to give me the look of overtime because they don't want to get the extra money. You have over, 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 over time now. You understand me? I say, so God, I flood you know, with what you want. I only still I complain. You know, I complain in you know, a sense. If, you, if things are happening in the world where you don't have control over and you end up a benefit from it, all you have to cost. All you have to cost. You can't cost. You pray. When you go up and you pray, you near your prayer and you talk to God. And God hear your, an, your, your prayer. And I answer your prayer now. You are cursed God. You think say. The people them were dead dead by accident. Yes. I like that comment here. The comment here said. Futa remember. Others are affected. So you still have to think about. Others even though you and your family are okay. Exactly. No problem. We have to think about others and we have to concern about others. But you don't have no control over who dead. You don't have no control over who catch corona. That are between them and God. 
Remember, say, uh, over 3 million people, them say catch corona in America. We know in our 3 million. We know, I know we put corona upon nobody. I gotta do that. So, whosoever catch corona, even if me catch corona, me have to pray to God to save me. Because God would have made me catch corona. It now have nothing to do with you and I like it. Come so, catch corona. I just throw it on somebody. You're not no control over this. You're not no control over this. You're not no control over this. So, oh, you're going to take it up by yourself. I know everybody you can't sorry for. This is a problem with human being. Once you have nothing to do with it, you have to love it to God. You can't save the world, you know. You can't save the world. You might see somebody laugh with you every day. Well, go on, my friend. Blessed and you see them going to work and them come home. You don't know what they are doing at them house at night time. When them say them going to work, you don't know what kind of work they are going to do. So you can't take up on yourself. And I tell God, but God, please, don't, sorry for that person. I don't want nothing to that person. That you don't know what they are doing. Holy a man. Work for CIA. Work for FBI. Work for enough police entity. We get up every day. And when them go, them go kill and torture people. That are them job. That are them job. To kill and torture people. And send innocent people to prison. So when God sent a, a pandemic and it a kill some of them. Oh, you fi take up that pan your head. Oh, you fi take up that pan your head now. And go cuss what God a do. And you not in control of it. And you a kill them. By the works where you do, you shall get paid. Give thanks, brother. By the works where you do, you shall get paid. I'm wanting to learn that. I'm wanting to learn that. When a soldier, when a soldier leave him family in him house, see him? Boom. Him gone error. His wife kiss him, oh baby, enjoy your time at work, be safe, come back to me in one piece. She don't know what I'm going to do. What's what you're going to do? The president get an order for bomb Libya and Syria. Who going to do the bombing? Now your husband, where you just hug up, where you left your pit in the house and you, and no one nothing to do, no, but him get up and him go fly a fighter jet and drop 700 pound of bomb down in Syria or Libya and kill millions of innocent people and innocent picnic and fly, come back home and land and get a medal of honor and come home to you. And you rub down the medal of honor and you say, God, thank you for this medal of honor. I'm so proud of my husband. And your husband just killed millions of innocent people. So when something happened, now I'm dead or me, figure beg for him. Me can't take up that from my head. You have to pray for your husband's soul because you and him enjoy the perks of the dirty works for him do. Because to him, he might do good to feed him country while destroying the next country. Oh, you got to take up that from your head. Think about it. No, think about it. No, like, let's think. Let's think. You have a family member. We say them a study medicine and them rich now. Him buy this big giant house for the family. Everybody in the family him buy a car. Everybody him I make him money. And your family where anytime on a broke, you can call him and get that money. But you don't know what him go do when him go work. What him go do when him go work? Him go create AIDS. Him go in a lab go build AIDS. Them go down to Africa, release AIDS from all of the homeless African people. Them spread AIDS in the whole country, kill 50 million people. But are your family? Are him feed uno? Are him make uno have that big house and them pretty care? Yeah, you love him to death. You pray to God for protect him. But 50 million people, family down in Africa, pray for him dead. Who you think God are gonna listen? Which prayer God are gonna listen? 50 million people are pray, or 10 people in our one house are pray. Which one you think I got answer? Which which amount of prayer you think I got trigger off God alarm for him pay attention? 50 million families. We're dead. Half a AIDS. And keep dying half a AIDS. So sometimes you see something that you can run, get up and about, cost this and cost that and cost this and cost that. You understand? You can cost that and cost. You have to think. Because when God at work, you have to love God. You have to love God, Virgin. Me, 
any innocent people we are dead, me feel sorry for them. But at the end of the day, me can't vouch for everybody. Me have to give thanks to God not choose me in the numbers where you're dead now. You understand? All of my family, okay. All of my friends, okay. Me have to give God thanks to that. Me can't get up and cuss Corona, Bridget. Oh, me have to cuss Corona. Oh. Oh, me have to get up and cuss Corona. Me can't do it. Me can't do it. So we have to pray. Enough people are doing things that are against God. Against God. Enough people upset God daily. So when God get up now and get mad and start clapping some people, oh, who is you and me? If you say God, nothing do what I do. Some want to take God for idiot and think that God only do good. No. God punish people. God punish people. And this morning, I'm getting down a thick skull. God punish people. People, God punish people. Yeah, so me are telling the Almighty God punishes people. The Almighty give life and Him take life. The Almighty bless people and Him curse people. Stop things. Say the Almighty one sided. The Almighty is not. One side, okay. You hurt him, he might go hurt me. I want to say him, sorry. You hurt the Almighty, the Almighty are gonna hurt you. You think, say, the universe not bleed? You think, say, when them cut down all of the food tree, them and put up apartment, the universe not cry? When them kill out the animals, them for cook. When you kill the cow, them and the goat, them and cook them and eat them. And them not there to help the, the universe. You think, say, the universe not bleed? You think the universe not cry? When you capture the lion and the tiger, them for circus, for make money, you think the universe not cry? When you poison the Amazon and kill out the tree, them, you think, say, the universe not cry? When you think, say, it not cry? When them poison the water, them, Pies in the rivers and seas them. You think so the universe not cry? Why you think some of the, riv the river them are turned blood red? Without nobody putting out nothing red in there. Them just red out. When you drill the earth and take the oil out of the earth. To sell it back. You think the universe not cry? Hmm? When you think the universe not cry? Hmm? When you dig out the uranium out of the ground. If you make worship on them something. When you take titanium out of the earth and them things. When you extract from the earth. And it's not for a worthy good cause. You think the universe not cry? You don't think. You don't use your brain. You think the universe You don't have an overstanding say. We are... God and God is us. So when you are destroy the universe, you are destroy yourself. And you shall be punished. Humans have to be punished for what we are do. So we have to pray, Bridget. You understand what I say? We have to pray. You understand? We have to pray and understand. Say if you push. The universe has got pushed back. You understand what I say? Everybody I think about oh, money, money, money. So you think, say, when King Leopold sent him army multiple times, got kill off billions of people, King Leopold responds to 10 billion or more murder in Africa alone. And him do that without leaving him doorstep. One Sanja 18. God kill everybody. God make everybody and God kill everybody. Because the flesh is temporary. So Sanja, if you have a thing say God not kill, you're up on the wrong path. God build and God kill. Okay? So try and remember that. King Leopold sit down on him doorstep over Portugal and send army go kill Africans. Him kill over 10 billion Africans. 
over him, him reign or 15 billion or however much. Him who owned the Republic of Congo without even going there. Them use gun and bayonet and poison and rape control Africa. That's why even today, remember me to tell you already, so if you want to do business in certain parts of Africa, you have to pay France. Only never believe me. When me are educated, you know, only never believe me. See? And then, the lady I know down in Africa where I defend the thing come tell you, know, say France, I forget 80% of Africa money until Africa rebel and them cut it to 60. Belgium him come from. Belgium or Portugal, one of them. Me not, me not quite member. I'm not quite a member. I'm just a cool history figure study. Zin, when you want to do business in a certain part of Africa, France, you have to pay. A certain other part of England, you have to pay. How come? And Africa a totally different country. Because the white man wicked that way. The white man kill more people that way. Pison more people that way. Murder us. Black people have a whole heap of love. And guess what we have to learn to understand? Issuing love alone now going to work, you know. We have to beat them at them on a game. Why Tory Platinum they on my page to trace everybody? People, I'm for black or our. We don't even know if it's that woman. You know me, I got black Tory. Yeah, man, you're, you're, you're too festive over here. Sir. You're too festive over here, sir, my girl. If it's a girl. So, more I want to understand me, I say, people. We have to wake up. Wake the fuck up. Black people, wake the fuck up. And that's why I mean, this some people from what they we are blood clad, can't test this Christianity thing. Go suck on the mother. Every black people, we are Christian, are idiot. And I ask me, I ask me, I make a statement. All Christians who are black are fucking idiots, puppets, dumb skull, numb skull, lunatic. I may say that without apology. Any Christian depa you want vex gun name on a mumma. Me no nice talking with you. On a blind as fuck. On a come like a rat with a band without eye. On is a blind bad timmy as a fucking idiot. No one at the time for you know decent talking with a bomb buckler. On a idiot. On a non fucking sense. You hear that? On a non sense. You think my business about LeBron James? A lot of people have to have LeBron James rich. Michael Jordan rich. Michael Jordan not rich. LeBron James not rich. You know who rich? The person where I pay them. Who is the person where I pay them? One white man. One white man. Yeah, Michael Jordan is the richest NBA player ever. Who pay him? White man. So who the white man rich? The white man ten times richer than Jordan. That's how black people for start meds. We need not to be the servant anymore. We need to be the bosses. Fuck, we are be we are be servant forever. We are be servant forever. We are get up and be servant forever. Because of Jesus and Christianity, we are get up and be servants forever. So we are gonna get up and because of Christianity and lie at Jesus, we be servants forever. We are gonna be servant forever, right? And look how stupid it is. Look how stupid both Jordan, Lebron, Curry, all of them. Kyrie Irving, all of them. Kevin Durant, Draymond Green, every basketball player from Lakers back in the days come right up. They're my idiot. All them have to do. All NBA players have to do. All of them get up one day and quit. All that black player them just get up and quit. And go start a league for themselves. What are the other? Just get up, everybody. Just get up one day and say we're done. We're not playing no more ball for no. And every college baller where I come up, I forgot to play in the black league. That, simple. Simple. Because we have more black player than white player. 99% of the basketball players them will make sense. A black player. So why you sit down under the foot of the white man so long? Fucking quit. Start in the one league. 
Who are you if you play for the white man? Yes, them are going to try to kill you. Yes, them are going to try to shut down the league. But if everybody unite as one and quit at the same time, them not have a choice. Them feel low and them can't kill you all at one time. You understand? So you not think. I want to get up every day. Oh, Jesus is going to make it change. It can't change because no Jesus is not there. No Jesus is not there. So if you keep looking for Jesus, it only not going to ever fucking come out of, the, out of the turmoil. It easy. That's not the first thing my black people have run. It not easy. It is easy. It is easy. You keep telling yourself say it's not easy. It not going to be easy. It easy. Everybody just get up and quit one time. Just get up and quit one time. All right, look for this. I'm not sure I'm going to show you the sign on the naughty. Doing basketball, I have to quit. Doing NFL, everything I have to quit now. Because of Corona, everything I have to stop. Who will lose money? The owner of them will lose more money than the player of them now. Because no game now play. All of them have to do just be Corona then. All the black basketball of them have to do just be Corona and quit. Just quit. NFL, this black players and everything. But when them, when them this keep on it, the rest of black players them going to play. All of them have to just quit. And so if keep on it, no get back in the game, we quit. And see if they now give a keep on the game, game. quick, quick in a, in a less than a second. But because the rest of them licky licky and want to say, yo, me have 10 hours, keep on it, have one. You know, see, keep on it, run your keep on it, one hours, you have one tier, 10 hours, me have. While the fucking white man have 10 team. Them not a thing. Them not a sense. Them not a sense. I'm stupid. Just. Because you want to hype on your black brother, say so you have more vanity than him. You not see the cars. When Kaepernick kneel down to the right, say, now support the anthem there with these black people. Other black player go and play. In my eyes, I me never want to say what I'm going to say. Because they're going to come lock me up. But I'm not afraid anyway. You know what should have happened when Kaepernick kneel? All of who support Kaepernick, they should have just waited till the first black player go up on the pitch and just swing a pickaxe in his foot and broke it. I make them know say anyone I know go play out there so when keep on it now no game your foot are broke and that should have happened and you'd have see the result then would have to give a keep on the game long time long long <laughs>